What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodeNewBee.com and in this video, we're going to look at filtering NumPy arrays. Hi guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at filtering NumPy arrays. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeNewBee.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at filtering NumPy arrays. And we're going to do it with something called a Boolean index list. So Booleans, true and false. We'll look and see what that means in just a second. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other NumPy videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file I'm calling it filtering.py. Got our basic NumPy starter code as always. We're importing NumPy as MP. And let's just start out by creating a NumPy array like we always do. And so let's go np.array. And inside of here, let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So let's say we want to filter out the first two things here, right? We're going to keep it real simple. I'm just going to create a variable. And what we want to do here is create a list of Booleans and tell this list which of these are true and false. Now, true are the ones that you want, false are the ones that you don't want, right? So let's go false and let me just kind of paste this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, right? Okay. So let's just real quick here, print out our MP1. And now what we want to do is filter this array based on this. So all we have to do is call MP1 and then pass in that X and NumPy will filter out all of the false things, right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it. Head back over to our terminal. I'm in my C num directory. And let's just go Python filtering.py. And we see here's our original and here's our filtered array. Very cool. So, okay, that's filtering, but this is super annoying. You're not going to want to do this all the time. You might have an array with thousands of things in it or millions of things in it. You're not going to be typing out true, false, true, false, true, false to filter out all of those arrays, right? So what can we do? Well, let's comment this stuff out. And let's create a filtered list. And this is just going to be a basic Python list and it's going to be empty. So now we can set up some logic here to sort of determine what we want to filter. So let's say we want to filter out for all the even numbers, right? So let's just go four, and I'm going to say thing in MP1. We want to loop through this thing and then we want to do some logic. So let's say, hey, if thing modulus two equals zero, and we know taking the modulus returns the remainder. So anything with a remainder of zero is an even number, right? So two divided by two is one with no remainder, zero remainder. Four divided by two is two with zero remainder, right? Three divided by two is one with one remainder. Oh, well, that's false, right? So for all the things that are even, we want to append something into filtered. So we want to go filtered dot append. And what do we want to append? Well, we want to append true. We want to make one of these trues for all of these even numbers, right? Else we want to go filtered dot append and we want to append false, right? So that's it. So we can now let's say print out our MP1 to see that. Now let's also print out our filtered to see what that is. And finally, we can print out our MP1 with just the filtered things, right? So this is the same array, you could easily create a new array. So we could say new equals like that, and then just print out new. However you want to do it, if you want to create a new array, you could do it that way. I'm just going to leave it like this, just for uh, explanation purposes. So okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it, see what this looks like. Let's clear the screen. And we see here's our original one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Here's our filtered list. One is not even, it's odd, so that's false. Two is even, so we see a, tree, a true there. Three is false. Four is true, and on and on, up to 10, that's an even number, so we see, tr so we see true here. And then if we apply this filtered list to our array, we just get back the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Just that easy. So very cool and uh, kind of fun. Now, you can do any sort of logic here. So we could say, hey, return everything greater than five or whatever. Right, so if we save this and run it, come back over here. Now we see false, 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 up until five, then six onwards is true. And if we filter that, we get six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that back just for fun. There we go. 
So, okay, that's cool, but this is a lot of work and we're lazy programmers. We don't want to do a lot of work. So luckily NumPy has a built-in shortcut, right? So let's take a look at that. I'm going to continue to use our MP1 here, but now we can do shorthand. So let's go filtered. We set that equal to MP1. And then what do we want to filter for? Well, we already know we want the even numbers. That's this thing right here. So we could just kind of slap that on there. And that's it. So now this is our filter. Now, if we want to print, say MP1, and if we want to print our filtered, we can. And then finally, if we want to print our MP1 with that filter, we could do that. And I'm calling this filtered, call it anything you want, obviously. But if we save this and head back over here, let's clear the screen and run this guy, we get the exact same thing. We're filtering out for even numbers and that's what we get. Again, we could just as easily do odd numbers. We set this equal to one. If we come back over here, run it again, now we get odd numbers. And again, we could also, if we wanted to say, hey, make them all greater than five, we could do that, come back over here, and here we just get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So any way you want to do this works. For my money, this is super easy, so I'll probably always do this, uh, but it's good to understand the mechanics of what this thing is here, because that's what's going on here, is just condensing it into a shorthand that you don't have to type out all this if-else stuff and actually loop through. NumPy will do that for you. Again, one of the reasons why we love NumPy, it just has shortcuts and functions and things that make our lives so much easier. And uh, this is definitely one of them. You're always gonna wanna filter your arrays for different things. That's just part of machine learning and data science. You've got a big list of things, you wanna filter it in some way. This is a super quick and easy way to do it. And that's how you do it with NumPy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.